Hello, welcome to Basic Electronics episode 12. Uh, I don't know if you can see this or not right now, but as I'm talking, these lights are flashing on and off. And that's because I built the clapper circuit. One of the classic things that you could buy back in the 80s or 90s or whatever it was. And uh, I guess it became somewhat popular. And I tried to recreate it without having to go out and buy one. So, I just thought it would be a fun project to do and show how to build. So the parts for building the clapper, or voice sensitive toggle switch, I guess you could call it. Uh, it's really simple. I'll turn these lights on and unpower this. Um, basically, all there is to it is a LM324 quad op amp, but you could also use two 741s or a 1458 because it only used, uses two of the op amps. This is just what I had lying around and it seemed to work. There's also a 555 timer in there and that's acting as a latch or toggle switch. Uh, there's also a, can't really see it that well, but there's a 2N3904 transistor and that's switching the latch or toggle on and off because this is basically just a preamp for this. So, there's also a lot of passive components on here. There's a there's a 10 microfarad capacitor, there's a 0.1 microfarad capacitor, whole bunch of resistors, like some mostly 110 or 100k. And there's also LEDs, which are protected with a 220 ohm resistor. So, that's the gist of this circuit. I'll put the schematic right Okay, so now that you're back, uh, if you chose to build this or whatever, great. So, I'll show this thing in action a little bit more. It's powered by 9 volts. I think it can be powered down to 5 volts. Um, so as you can see, I'll turn the lights off, and, but also if I talk loudly enough, it will switch them. It's really cool, it doesn't, the LEDs on here currently aren't the brightest ones I have, but they're just the ones I had lying around. If I was going to implement this as like something to actually turn my lights on and off, I would definitely turn the sensitivity way down because even just me talking at slightly above average conversation uh, volume, if you want to call it that, it will flip these things on and off. The only reason that uh, there's a few second or that there's a couple second delay or sometimes like I clap and it doesn't turn on or off, it's because the 10 microfarad capacitor in here is charging, which prevents it from switching. It doesn't take very long, but a couple seconds. I recommend maybe turning it down a little bit. Uh, I tried a 4.7, or a, yeah, 4.7 microfarad, and it became a little bit too, like, jittery. It would flip on and off really rapidly with uh, sound, so... If you really wanted to turn the sensitivity down, you could make that like a 470 or something. So you could clap and take like a minute for it to be able to detect another clap. Which would help prevent with loud noises and stuff. The, uh, if you're wondering where I got the microphone for this, it's just a basic... Turn the light back on so you can see. It's just a basic electric microphone that I got out of like an answering machine or something. Uh, it seems to work fine. The LM324 is basically a preamp for it. Um, that's about it for this episode, though. I apologize for not getting a video up recently. I have been working now. I'll be able to fund my, I'll be able to fund my hobby a little bit better. So, the basic electronics schedule is going to be really screwed up. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to get one up every week. I might be able to get a project up every week that I built. Not a, not necessarily basic electronics with a schematic and everything. But I hope you've enjoyed this video. Feel free to rate, comment, subscribe, 
or suggest more ideas for me to build. I got this I or I got the idea for this project from a friend and um so I I just took it as a personal challenge and I built it. So that's gonna do it for this video. Have a nice weekend.